Hey guys, what is up? My name is Landon and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So the Calgary Flames just released their new third jersey. I put new in quotes because they are just going back to the Blasty jersey, so that reverse retro. However, they did make a few changes to that reverse retro, so we'll kind of take a look at those. But before we do get into it, if you guys are new to the channel and you like hockey jersey content, please make sure to hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I am trying to go for a thousand subs before the end of the year. We're getting a little bit close, so I would appreciate the help. But anyways, let's take a look at the jersey here. So so as you guys can see, it is fairly similar to that first reverse retro that they had during that 2021 season. However, there was three changes that were made. The first one being inside of the back of the collar that used to be yellow. It is now just black. The second change being the logo itself. It has now been upgraded to that prime green logo. So it has that 3D effect to it. And we'll take a closer look at that in just a second. And then the third change, the thing that you probably noticed right away is obviously the Calgary Flame logo on the sleeve there at the bottom kind of shooting up. That is really the biggest change that was made from the reverse retro to this new third jersey at least in my opinion now i will say that the flames didn't release any official photos of this jersey they basically just put it up on their team store so we only really have stock photos however i do have a couple of actual photos of the jersey these photos are from when it was leaked about a month ago i would say so the reason i am bringing in an actual photo of the jersey is because with this stock photo that flame at the bottom there doesn't really look that great it looks like it stands out way too much and it is way too light of a gray but if we go ahead and move onto that leaked photo there you can see that it does kind of blend in a little bit better it doesn't stand out as much you can obviously tell it is still there but it definitely looks a little bit better on the actual jersey itself and i do also have a little bit of a closer picture here now with this closer picture it almost looks like the flame is like rubbery i'm not really quite too sure the material there but it definitely does not look like it's the same material as the jersey itself so i'm not really quite too sure what material it is but at least to myself it does look a little bit like a rubbery material but for me i will say is i don't love the flames at the bottom of the sleeve there it does feel just a little bit tacky it doesn't really look that great in my eyes even with the actual photos of the jersey where it does blend in just a little bit better it kind of just throws the jersey off a little bit i definitely prefer it without those flames coming up from the cuff but let's take a look at the logo itself so once again this is a photo from the leak so as you guys can see here there is that kind of 3d effect to the logo it has a bevel inside of the flame that is coming out of the nose and then the flame that's on the forehead there that kind of sticks out a little bit and the logo logo does just kind of stick out a little bit more in general it looks like it's a little bit more 3d i'll put up a picture of my reverse retro as well just so you guys can kind of compare the two pictures you can see that the logo definitely does look better on this new prime green third jersey than it does on the reverse retro although i don't think it is a huge change like most prime green jerseys the logos definitely do look better just because of that 3D aspect to it. It's always going to look better, no matter how much you change, in my opinion. I think the prime green jerseys will always have the better logos, at least comparatively to the previous Adidas jerseys, I should say. But anyways, let's take a look at the last photo that I have here. So it is just the back of the jersey. Nothing really too special about the back of the jersey, honestly. It looks pretty much the exact same as this reverse retro. Although, once again, you can see the flames on the sleeves there, of course. But outside of that, it is basically the exact same. So the flames are going to be wearing this jersey for 12 games this season. Now, now, do I like the fact that they are releasing this jersey when I did purchase the reverse retro thinking that it was a limited time jersey? Honestly, for me personally, I really don't care that much. I know a lot of people do kind of care a little bit more about that fact. They did think that the reverse retros were a limited time jersey and that they would never come back. For me, the way that I see it is that people that weren't able to buy the reverse retro are now going to be able to buy this jersey. And yeah, it is a little bit different, but it's close enough to the reverse retro that I think the people that wanted the reverse retro would be satisfied at buying this jersey. And I think I'm not really that upset about it because I do prefer the reverse retros even though I do think the changes are very minor and if I wanted the reverse retro and was able to get it I probably would end up buying this jersey but for me already having the reverse retro I don't really need it and I definitely still prefer the reverse retro so I'm totally okay with them bringing back the blasty jersey I absolutely love the jersey and love the logo so honestly I'm totally okay with them bringing it back and honestly with this jersey I probably will go out to like a pro hockey life or something like that just so I can see what the sleeves actually look like in person because that is what is interesting to me about this jersey i just want to know how those sleeves actually look and how they actually feel in person but anyways those are my thoughts on the jersey let me know what you guys think do you guys like the new jersey do you prefer it over the reverse retro are you upset that they're basically bringing back a fairly similar reverse retro when they said the reverse retros were exclusive let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below i would love to read them and also make sure to follow me on my instagram my twitter and my tiktok links are all in the description down below but like i said that is it for me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time.